So in this video, we're gonna be looking at paid add-ons versus free add-ons for hard surface modeling in Blender. Let's get into it. So the first one we're gonna be looking at is a decal machine. However, the free version is using the shrink wrap modifier. Let me show you the shrink wrap modifier first. So I'm gonna put in one of my decals and you can see how it's not matching per se. It's not very flat. This is extremely prevalent on kind of like curved surfaces because it's actually off the face. So for instance, what we can do is I can go GZZ into the modifiers, add modifier, generate, sorry, deform, shrink wrap modifier. We select what we want it to slap onto, give it a bit of an offset so it's sitting up. And now we need to just give it a little bit of subdivide, subdivide and also change the wrap method from nearest surface point to project. We wanna go negative, and now you can see that it is wrapping to the face. However, it's not perfect. I mean, it's a bit of a yuck curve here, but if we were to manipulate this a little bit and match the geometry underneath, so for instance, if we went into wireframe mode and we kind of followed the geometry underneath, it would look much better. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit of a crud position. Probably wouldn't keep it there, but you can see how we can slap it on. Where on the other hand, with decal machine, if we find a curved surface, let's say right here, D, let's go into some of mine and we go slap onto that. And then I press D again and we just go project. You can see how it wraps around. So it's a little bit yuck there. So let's just get back up, scale it down. D, project, and then we can always go adjust, move it out slightly, and there we go, it's wrapped around that surface perfectly. Obviously, Decal Machine has a lot more stuff, and I've got other videos. I'll put a link in the description if you wanna go more into depth in Decal Machine, but to project on surface, that is the best way. Nice and quick and dirty and easy. For the second one, we're gonna be looking at hard ops. Um, the free version is Bull Tool. So if I go into Edit Preferences and we type in Bull, we got bull tool right there. So I can go sh shift A, add a mesh, cube. I can now shift left click, control numpad minus, and now we've got two separate objects. And then we can come in, edit this, and it's looking great. However, hard ops is another kettle of fish altogether, and that's why hard ops is hard ops. Shift left click, Q, let's go booleans, and we're gonna make a difference. We can select everything, control B. And then we've gotten the option to, <laughs> we've got the option to do a whole bunch of work towards it. And there's a massive amount of things that we can do. So for instance here, Q, operations, look at all the operations here, add modifiers, all this menu stuff is right stinking here. I gotta start touching hard ops more. Oh man, I forgot all about hard ops. Oh, that's looking schmick. So third up, third up. Let's have a look at cable array tour. Select two objects, shift alt C, and then we go create cables from this point to this point. We can press S and change the width of our cables and press C, fill the caps if we want. Press G, we can add in some more points. Oops, which way, this way. And then press B, we can change the profiles of what the cable's gonna look like. And then we can always press D to set the tension. And also S, oh yeah, we already said S. Good job, Marco. And if we actually had a curve, we could set what curve we wanted. There are other features as well. Shift Alt C, we can do a rope and that'll draw a rope around whatever object that we've got. Let's just for fun, Control B, Shift Alt C, rope. There we go. And we can see how that's put a rope around us. Lovely, lejublies. Yeah, that's pretty cool. However, if we use the free add-on Geo Cables, now all these links are in the description, I can select two objects. I can select two objects. I'm gonna press N to bring up the side panel, create edit cables, and then we can just start clicking and clicking and clicking and clicking, and it's gonna create some awesome cables. The other thing we can do is import connectors and add shipped connectors, and now that's added in all these connections onto the cables. So Geo Cables is a free add-on they can download. So go check that out. So last but not least, all the panels. Let's create some awesome panels. So the first one is Random Flow, Shift Q. Let's just go Random Loop. 
And then we can start adding in a whole bunch of jazz. That's because the edges are selected. Let's make sure we select all. Shift Q, random loop generator. And then we can start adding in panels very quickly. Now random flow does go pretty deep. I mean, technically we can even add cables around the place. Um, as you can see through here, if we just delete them for now, you can see how it's adding in cables around that. But random flow has a lot of features. Now, if we have a look at Mark Kings North's, I think it's Mark King North, uh, plating generator, please select a plating object, search, add plates, and then now we've got a whole bunch more options around setting all the various plates, how many corners, we can add in rivets if we wanted to use rivets, and so on and so forth. Random flow, plating generator, both paid add-ons, however, the free version is called Discombobulate. Dis, edit, preferences, and we search in add-ons Discombobulator. Shift A, mesh, Discombobulator. And then we can go min height, blah, blah, blah. Let's go OK. And uh, yikeroonies. <laughs> Coming to the bottom left. And then we can change all this stuff. Let's make it a little bit lower. Let's make it, whoa, settle down, Marco. 0 0.02, 0 0.05. And then kind of see how we're making panels like this. I still well prefer plating generator and random flow. Just saying. Now, the last one we have is KitUps. I mean, KitUps is pretty schmick. It's been around for donkey's years. So if we kind of select our object, add an insert, click it there, bam, and then you can see how we've added in a cutter very quickly. Now, the thing is, is there's nothing really like KitUps that I've found. The only closest thing is if we jump into kind of like our asset library, so we click on this, go into our asset browser, sorry, mark on 3D. Now I do have a free Kit Bashing set if you want to download it. So this is Kit Bashing set one. We can kind of like click and drag objects. Oh, geez, mate, what are you doing? We can click and drag objects onto kind of like our mesh and so on and so forth. But that's, that's pretty much it. With kit ups, we've got cutters that we can add. So we can go in and select, I don't know, whatever that is. Let's go into add insert, dump it in like so. So there's nothing really like that unless, you know, we select this, for instance, shift S cursor to selected. Then we go ahead, add in our cube. And we kind of do what we did with, um, 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 I don't know, part one, part two or something, shift left, uh, select our cutter, select our object, control numpad minus using the bull tool. And then we've kind of made a cut in the back. That's a close thing I can think of. I could be completely wrong, but if you got something from this video, please like, and subscribe. Let me know, let me know what I've missed. And if there's other free add-ons or other paid add-ons you want me to look at, I'm talking, say hi to your mum for me.